Hey everybody, General Ray here. Thanks again for stopping by to watch another video. Uh, I was going to talk about today is another issue I've been seeing a lot on the news lately. Uh, Facebook, you know, um, and all over social media is everywhere. Is uh, violence in games is causing people to be violent. Uh, the violence on TV, it's causing kids to be violent. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a load uh, because it pretty much comes down to the lack of parenting skills that the parents that are blaming this on. They think it's all the violence in games. I've been playing video games and watching violent TV shows since I was a kid and I also knew that by me doing some of the stuff that was in video games I could get hurt, or I could hurt somebody, or worse, and if I was being that stupid, I'd get my butt whooped by my parents. And so, basically what I'm trying to say is, parents, if you, you want to blame video games, and you want to blame TV, maybe you ought to monitor what your children watch, or the video games they play. I've gone into uh, a few different game stores, Walmart, GameStop, Target, and other places like that that sell video games, and I see parents buying their kids uh, video games like Call of Duty and I play Call of Duty I like the game a lot I play it as often as I can as my time will allow and it hasn't made me a violent person so if you think that's what's making your children violent maybe you should uh, stand up and tell your children you know what well, I'm not gonna buy you this game um, but until you do don't blame it on the video games blame it on your own personality and your lack of parenting there's just too much to blame on all oh, we're gonna blame it on video games it's not video games it's you as a parent, basically, and you want to tell everybody and complain and whine and cry. Uh, they want to blame a lot of violence on video games and all that. Well, why don't you look at what you're buying your children before you allow them to play it? This is a mature game, and I don't feel that if your kid can't handle it, then they're not mature enough to play a game that says mature. I do play this game. Uh, I feel that as a kid, I could have played this game game and been just fine because me and my brother knew that going around running around with guns was not allowed we had guns in our house we knew where they were we knew how to use them but we didn't mess with them we didn't touch them unless our parents were there and allowed us to go when we went to the shooting range or we went out into the country and we we're shooting we knew what we were allowed and not allowed to do we didn't even touch them to show friends because we knew that if we were to do that we would we'd get our butt whooped and I'm, I'm being very clean about what I say on it because my dad would use a belt. And I honestly feel that there's a lot of children out there that nowadays that they need it. And uh, when I go to the grocery store or whatever and I hear a kid tell his mom, F you, uh, I have a problem with that. That is a very poor parenting skills. That is actually a parent who does not care and in all reality should not even be allowed to have kids. Because if you allow your kids to talk that way to you, they're going to talk that way to everybody. And I had to learn respect. I grew up old school. You talk back, get your butt whooped. You use language like that, you would be eating a bar of soap. They'd be putting soap in your mouth and uh, people want to say that's child abuse. That's not child abuse. That's teaching a child respect and to respect their elders. And there is a point you have to draw that line as well. I am I am one of the youngest guys where I work, but you have to draw that line of how you respect people. If people are if people don't show you respect, then no, you shouldn't have to give it back. But I'm also not going to sit there and let a child talk to me that way. I had a child talk to me that way in a grocery tor store, and I talked to his mom saying, oh, "I don't care." Like, well, and I told that mom, then you're basically a POS. And she got upset. And it's like, well, you know what? Maybe you ought to do something about your kid. If your kid's going to be disrespectful to me and you're not going to do anything, I'm going to be disrespectful back. But don't blame it on video games. My parents, you know taught me and I was brought up basically an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And you know what? You you treat people how you want to be treated. If you want to be treated like a POS, then treat me like one. I have no problem treating you that way. But you know what? Stop playing video games and TV because 99.99% .99 of it is usually the parents' fault. Okay, you got these kids that have mental disorders that have caused nothing but heartache in the country uh, from different, from gun violence. And they want to say the gun violence stems from video games. The video games when I was a kid, they were not as graphic as they are now. I understand that. 
but they were some pretty interesting names when I was a kid. I'm only 36, and I'll tell you what, it's not the video game's fault. It's not TV. I remember watching movies such as Total Recall. Total Recall was a very, overall very violent movie, and I didn't grow up thinking it was okay to do that because I know better, and that was because of my parents, not because of, you know, I just knew what was going on. It was because of my parents taught me that that was not right. So if you don't teach your children that a video game is strictly that, a video game, if you don't teach them that, they think it's okay to go out and shoot up a school or shoot up a movie theater. You know, mental disabilities need to be addressed very seriously. And until the parents take that seriously, then it's it's just going to only get worse because there's too many parents out there that just, they think the way they was ra they were raised was wrong. You know, people my age, 36, you know, 28 to 35, 38 years old, them people out there, they think they're just, they're going to do better than everybody else. And in all reality, from the people that I know that I have seen, they're horrible parents. You know, you don't, you just don't do that. You need to have, tell your kids and teach your kids respect, teach them how to treat people, teach them that a video game is strictly a video game. Maybe some kids need to be limited. Yes, I will agree to that. Some kids need to be limited. Uh, primarily, the kids that need to be limited, uh, and, and this is not to be a f offensive to anybody, is the kids who are lazy. The kids who are lazy, sitting on the couch, playing a video game, eating chips and BS all day. Those are the kids that need to have something done. And that's usually, you know, up to the parent. I mean, a good parent is not going to let their children sit and play video games hours and hours a day. Now, I do also understand that nowadays video games are very popular with parents because it shuts their kids up, okay? If you don't want to hang out with your kids or do stuff with your kids, you really shouldn't be having kids. It's as, as straightforward as I can get with it, and it is very ignorant to blame everybody else for your problem. You know, I, I really hope that a lot of people take this to heart because some of the stuff needs to be. This needs to be addressed. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I hear it all the time on the TV, all the time on social media. Oh, it's 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 video game violence. It's TV violence. Well, why don't you be, be a real parent and get your kids and limit your kids to what they play? Maybe not buy them the mature game. Maybe buy them a a game that you're in a race car or something like that. Don't don't buy them a violent game if you think it's the game's fault. If you think it's TV's fault, maybe you should be watching, you know, the Sesame Street with your kids every day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. But guess what? You don't want to watch that. If you're not going to watch it, how can you expect your children to watch it? So, you need to be able to step up and say when you're wrong. And there's a lot of parents out there that aren't doing it, and they need to. I, I really do feel that the violence comes from the parents allowing their kids to be disrespectful and talk the way they want to talk. It's not teaching them good skills for the future. You need to teach them respect, to understand what respect is, understand that respect is uh, earned, not given. Um, I also learned that respect is, for me, I give respect to everybody until they give me a reason not to. And social media is not getting any respect from me for the most part because of people like that. They put all this BS on there for drama queens and all that. You know, you go ahead and have your fun with it, but be a parent and teach your kids what's right and wrong. And I really hope that everybody that watches this will share this and get it to every parent out there. I want to show that just because the gameplay maybe have violence in it, it's not the video game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy the commentary. Let me know what you guys think and your views on this. And I hope to see you guys on my next video real soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.